To begin the assembly of electronics, each printed circuit board must be marked to enable traceability and quality control. For this process, a CO2 marking laser is used. First, the boards are inserted into the loader, where the machine takes them one by one to mark them. Laser's high contrast and precise marking saves time and energy, while keeping panels, solder connections, and circuitry uncontaminated. By having a unique QR code engraved, the manufacturing steps that come afterward can be tracked. After the marking process is complete, the PCBs are transferred to the assembly stage. The next step is the preparation of a stainless steel stencil for the solder paste application. Stencil is cut according to the surface mount device footprints on the circuit board. To create complex designs, the laser cutter uses argon gas. The process then transitions to automated screen printing, where the metal stencil is put to use. It's carefully inserted into the screen printing machine and aligned with the board. The solder paste printer, armed with an automatic squeegee, meticulously applies solder paste to specific parts of the board with pinpoint precision. After the application of solder paste, the automated solder paste inspection follows. In the inspection machine, Two projectors utilize a striped pattern of light to determine whether the solder paste is applied correctly. The inspection data is recorded to be extractable with QR codes on circuit boards. The next step in the manufacturing process involves placing electronic components on the circuit board. This task is handled by automated pick and place machines. Electronic components, delivered in reels or trays, are loaded onto the pick and place machine. Each component reel carries a QR code that is scanned and fed into the surface mount system. The surface mount line operator ensures the component reels are prepared and constantly refilled as necessary. The pick and place machine uses vacuum nozzles to pick up the components, align them, and put them onto the circuit board. Following the component placement, the assembled panel goes through the soldering oven, where the high temperature gradually melts the paste and attaches the components to the board. Ovens include separate heating and cooling zones including preheat, thermal soak, reflow, and cooling stages. Moving forward, the quality of soldering and component placement is checked using automated optical inspection. This system uses cameras to detect any assembly errors. If no errors are found, the board proceeds to the pass area. If an error is detected, the board is directed to the check section from which automated optical inspection specialists take it for further examination. By scanning the QR code, the AOI specialist can identify the location of detected faults. If necessary, adjustments can be made for the SMT line where the optical inspection can be recalibrated accordingly. Despite its advantages, optical inspection still has some limits. For example, it can't assess the soldering quality of certain components. In these cases, our X-ray machine is utilized. As per the sampling plan, specific boards are selected for X-ray examination, catering to each project's unique requirements. As the next step, we utilize through-hole technology for larger and more complicated components. The components is mounted into the board and then the board scanned before entering into a conveyor.
Inside the machine, there's a computer-controlled soldering system with multiple irons and variable nozzles that precisely applies solder to the component's soldering points. Manual soldering is still employed for certain larger components that prove challenging to automate during placement on the boards. In this process, the quality heavily relies on the soldering operator's expertise. Employees receive continuous training to ensure they adhere to IPC standards for soldering. All of the PCBs are assembled in arrays, which later need to be separated. For larger batches, we use highly automated depaneling machines. By scanning the fiducial marks on the assembled circuit board, the machine identifies its location. Then the paneling process is carried out with a CNC mill with vacuum dust collection. After cutting, a robotic gripper retrieves the PCBA from above and places it in designated trays. The machine can cut with a stable accuracy of 100 microns. The next step after the paneling is testing. For this, specifically in-house design testing stands are used. The device is stabilized by the fixtures and the necessary electrical connections for evaluating the device's functionality are provided. Since manual testing is a very time-consuming production step, it can easily become a manufacturing bottleneck. That's why, for larger batches, we use robots to speed up this process. After the circuit boards are loaded into a robotic testing machine, two robotic hands manage the process. One hand places the boards into testing trays, and once the test is complete, the other hand sorts them into two categories, those that pass the test and those that fail. The combination of both robots creates synergy and makes testing process cycle very efficient. Following our intensive testing and assembly, let's step back to another crucial manufacturing step, the integration of plastics. First, each individual mold tool, designed specifically for a unique product shape, is precisely fitted into the plastics molding machine. Then plastic is injected into the mold. Once cooled, a robotic hand retrieves the solidified parts. After being sorted by a robot, the plastic components are ready for final assembly. Devices can be assembled by hand, but the most efficient method of assembling electronics is through the use of robots, an approach considered the gold standard of efficiency. First, the robot inserts the product's plastic casings into the assembly jig.
Then, the glue is applied for the battery installation. Next, the robot carefully inserts the battery. After that, the PCB is meticulously inserted. Then the final enclosure is attached. Finally, the product is engraved with a laser. Here, the operator collects finished products into a box and sends them for packaging on the conveyor belt. All boxes from the conveyor belt are sorted by packaging robots. Identified by QR codes, boxes are sorted into trays. Once a tray is full, another robot folds the box and completes the packaging process. With the packaging completed, the devices are now ready for shipment, marking the end of the electronics manufacturing journey.